Hello kids! How are you? I hope you're all doing fine. I am Teacher Nephi. Today, I will teach you how to access Google Classroom. Everybody say Google Classroom. Okay, very good. So are you ready? Wow, you're all ready. First step that you should do is you need to look for the icon of Google on your screen. So now let's look for it. It looks like this. Can you see it? Okay, good job. Now let's double click it to open. For you to enter the classroom, you need to log in first using the email address given by the school. To log in, you need to look at the upper right corner of your screen. In here, you can see a human figure. Let's click this one. Then click Turn on Sync. Then this will show up to your screen. Now, enter the email address. After entering the email address, you need to click Next. In Tagalog, Susunod. Then, enter your password. Please don't share your password to anyone. Okay? After entering the password, you need to click Next. Then, this will show up to your screen. You need to click Link Data. Then, click Yes, I'm in. Can you see Yes, I'm in? Okay, good job! If you already have an existing account, to the upper right corner of your screen, click your profile picture if you have beside the Google Apps icon or the cube with nine dots. So let's click this one. Then click Add Another Account. Now, Enter the email address given by the school. After entering the email address, click Next. Then, enter the correct password. Please do not share your password to anyone. After entering the password, you need to click Next. Okay? Very good, kids! To the upper right corner of your screen, you can see a cube here with nine dots. So let's click it. This is the cube with nine dots. This one. Let's click it. We need to scroll down to look for the classroom. Okay. Did you see the classroom? Everybody see classroom. Very good. Now let's click the classroom. Let's wait for it. Let's wait. Okay. Look at the upper right corner of your screen again. So you can see here the plus sign. Look for the plus sign. Did you see the plus sign? Yes, it's here. So let's click it. Then this will show up. So we need to click join class. Okay, now this will show up to your screen. It says your class code. So you need to enter the correct class code the teacher gave you. Opo, after entering the class code, you need to click join. This one, join. Okay, let's wait. Okay, we're already in the classroom. Inside the classroom, you can see here is stream, classwork, and people. Stream, it is where you can view and access announcements, assignments, discussion topics, and comments. You can also see here when to pause your assignment. Please pass your assignments or activities on time. Okay? Very good. You may also post and leave a comment if teacher allows you. Remember, 
This can be viewed by your teacher and the entire class. So please just comment or post questions about the posted assignments or announcements given to you. Opo, take note, your comments are saved even after they have been removed. Your teacher can always see what you shared, so keep it appropriate. Opo, next, classwork. Under classwork, you can see here all the assignments and activities given by your teacher. You can also see here the time when to pause it. Okay, this is the topic title. So you need to click this one. To view the assignment, you just need to click this. Opo. Very good. Next, people. Let's click people. Under this, you can see teacher and your classmates. The next time you do this, no need for you to click for the plus sign, okay? Because the class is already here. You just need to click plus sign if it's your first time to join a class. Papa, understood? Okay, good job! Okay, you just need to click this one to join the class. That you should do is you need to look for the Google Chrome icon in your phone okay so it looks like this let's click it to the upper right corner of your screen you need to look for the human figure but if you already have an existing account in your cell phone or tablet click your profile picture so we already have an existing account so we need to click this one and then you need to click Manage accounts on this device. Let's click this one. And then you need to click add account. Now, this will show up in your screen. Enter the email address given by the school. Okay? After entering the email address given by the school, you need to click next. Then enter your password. After entering your password, click Next. Then click I Agree. Hi! If you are using your phone, tablet, or iPod, look for the Play Store in your cell phone. Okay? download the Google Classroom or to install the Google Classroom. Okay? So, this is the Play Store. Let's click the Play Store here. Can you see the Play Store? Yes! Let's click the Play Store. Let's type Google Classroom. And then, you need to click search. Can you see the Google Classroom now? Okay, let's click Install. It's installing, it's downloading, so we need to wait. Have patience to wait, okay? Now, let's click Open. Okay, so this will pop up in your screen. You click Get Started. Now, you look for your Gmail account. And then, click OK. To the upper right corner of your screen, you can see here the plus sign. So, you need to click that. You can see here, Join Class and Create Class. You need to click Join Class. Okay. Create Class is for your teacher. So, let's click Join Class. Now, let us enter the class code. Make sure to enter the correct class code, okay? After entering the correct class code, you need to click join here to the upper right corner of your screen. Okay, so now you're in the classroom. Below your screen, you can see here the stream. It is where you can see the announcements of your teacher, your assignments. You can also see here the time when to pass your assignment. Make sure to pass it on time, okay? 
side stream, you can see classwork. Okay, these are the activities the teacher gave you. Next, you can also see people here. You can see here your teacher and your classmates. Okay? Thank you so much. Congrats, you already installed your Google Classroom in your cell phone, tablet, or iPad. Bye! Thank you so much for listening. I hope you understand well how to access Google Classroom. Okay, thank you so much for listening. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our class today.